Welcome back to another episode. This is very exciting because we may not be putting it on today, but for you guys it'll be today. We just came up here to put our main sail on, but the wind just picked up, of course, so we'll probably do it first thing in the morning, which will be very soon for you. I just wanted to say a really big thank you to a lot of people that helped us get our mainsail and not only that our boom bang and so many other things to us so special thank you to Chuck and Deborah for collecting all of our packages. You guys are amazing and we love you and thank you. They not only collected packages they drove us down things so uh, Jan has left his car here that we can use so we can drive his car around Mexico and again that has been super helpful we were able to drive up to the border. A uh, special thank you to Dwayne. Dwayne actually picked our sail up in Phoenix and brought it to the border for us. The biggest thank you is to Precision Sales. Having a company back us like that we are just super super grateful so thank you thank you if I've missed anyone I'm sorry. <laughs> But there is a lot of people to thank. Like I said in the last video, our community is the reason why we are here. Our patrons, thank you, thank you, thank you for continuing to support us. You guys are the reason why we can keep doing what we're doing. And um, yeah, I haven't said thank you enough. <laughs> thank you. Let's get into the video and put up our main sail. We're an Australian family that set off on an adventure of a lifetime. We hope these little videos make you smile and inspire you to chase your dreams. Subscribe to join us and our travels as we share our life on the sea. Our precision sail did arrive. Did it all arrive though. <laughs> so we thought when it arrived the box was smaller than we anticipated and yep. we were like, uh oh. Uh, and then we, we still were like, you know, it could be all like, could be all wound up and it could be fine. And then we opened it and we unrolled it and we're like, ah, oh, no. Unfortunately, we can't leave yet because we can't leave without our buttons. They're a big part of the sail. All right, we're about to go put up our main sail. Even though we don't have our buttons yet, we're just going to see, make sure that it all fits and everything's all good other than just missing the buttons. We unrolled the sail and all was going well apart from the fact that we had given Precision the wrong bolt rope size. But after a little extra effort we got the foot of the sail in the track. But then the camera ran out of battery which we didn't notice plus before we got it on the wind decided to pick up a little too much for our liking. At today's job um, we've opened up Taj's room as you can see he's behind us cleaning his roof. We've got two of these mushroom vents that we are going to put on our deck. Um, we put little temporary caps on them the other day and we don't have enough to replace all of them but we have two so we're going one's going in the kids bathroom and one's going in Taj's room so while we are doing that there was a little bit of rot or a soft spot on the deck so we're going to address that as well while we're here seeing we now have to wait for our buttons so another job Hopefully it doesn't turn into something crazy big, like our last rot in the deck. But we don't think so, it should be old, damaged, so it shouldn't be wet. That's what we're hoping anyway, that it's not wet, that it's not big. It's so strange though, like, where does that come from? I don't know what that hole is. That's the holes holding the um, garage down out of the box. This is a bit of a crappy job, cutting back the soft wood slowly until we find solid core. and then Dad cuts the new wood to replace the missing parts of the deck. Meanwhile, Bella and I had our own projects going on. It's prototype one. These were our old derailed vents. So instead of throwing them in the bin, I thought these would be good just to wrap all of our hand lines around. Now we've got plenty of lures. We'll get them all ready to roll and see how they go. Finished getting all rid of all of the rot that was in Taj's room. Again, it opened up to way bigger. 
often we thought, but uh, it's not a surprise anymore. So we've got leaf cut it all back and we've got all of the wet rot out. Luckily this one doesn't have too much like wet moist stuff. We've got rid of it all so we don't have to wait for it to dry. So that is good. We just have to go and remove some of the boxes on top because they are the cause of what this rot was. Some of them are just screwed directly into the deck and that's what the water is leaking into. So, as you can see over that side, there's a box either side of the mast, which is this box here. Now we've lifted these boxes up, moisture and rot in around them. That's why we've had a problem in Taj's room. So we've got like, this will remove a certain amount of the um, core and then we'll fill these up with epoxy and then we'll re-fasten these boxes down and water just can't get in. You can see that's pretty good but nevertheless we'll fill them with epoxy so the epoxy will come down and go out underneath the deck and so then we'll screw in the centre. We heard from Precision yesterday and they're trying to get us our buttons. We were supposed to splash yesterday so we're all a bit bummed about that. But anyway, we're gonna make the most of it. We are still in Taj's room fixing the rot because we actually ran out of epoxy two days ago. <laughs> so we couldn't get going. And then you know, yesterday was just a write off. It wasn't a great day, to be honest. <laughs> but today's a better day and we have epoxy and we are going to finish Taj's room. That's the fact we uh, just got to put some glass over. We ran out of epoxy the other day. And we also, there was a Durade box up here and there was two bolts here. And water had gotten down and spread around from all the bolts. And as a result, and there was another couple of screws up here which had softened the core there. So penetrations on the core, it's not really cool. also been a previous fix over there. There is more in Bella's room, but we're too scared to open it right now. <laughs> If we get that done, we'll be stoked. So then Taj can be back in his room at the moment. He's sleeping in where Bella is and we have a room all pulled apart. So we don't know what, what's going on and when we're getting back in the water. If we're getting back in the water, um, we put our sail on halfway. We couldn't put it all the way on because it's been too windy. Everything's a little been a little bit against us lately. so. Uh, we're just working through that. <laughs> Hopefully it's all, it's all going to be great from now on. It's not like the season's against you either. Yeah, and you know, hurricane season is approaching very rapidly. Yeah, it just seems like, I don't know, whether, are we ever going to get back in the water? That's how it feels. So, we're just going to take each day as it comes. And that's how it is. It's kind of out of our hands. We'll have to just... Do what we can and I mean we could get put back in the water without a mainsail but we can't go anywhere and how are we going to get the battens and where would we get the battens so these are all things that have been going on and on in our brains. This is the boatyard and those little marinas you can see is where we would wait if we got put back in the water as the next anchorage is a hundred nautical miles away so for us we have chosen to stay out and keep on going with projects. Today I'm feeling optimistic we're gonna get stuff done. Finished inside, now we're gonna go up top, do some up top filling in up top, right babe? Get to the up top, that's get what we're gonna do. Get on the uh, deck. But before we get back into the deck repair, there was a no wind window, so we thought we would finally get our sail up and furled away. We're going to put it up one more time. What we're trying to do is just get the boom at the right angle so that it doesn't furl up unevenly. So at the moment it's a little bit coming a little bit too far forward but fits really nicely and it is going up and down really nice. 
compared to our old one. So once we get the boom angle right, it should be sweet. And we get our boom and uh, we get our buttons. <laughs> It'll be amazing. So the adjustment of this, the boom really makes a difference where the, the boom furling sail and that's why the boom vang was so important for us to get that. So that's what is going on. A little bit of up and down with the sail and it should be good. We'll furl her in and then wait for our buttons to arrive. Pretty happy with that, how that went. Are you happy with that, honey? Pretty good. So it's all filled in. It'll just be fine tuning now. Fine tuning when we get our buttons and yeah, get, get on the, the water. And then just sail after sail, we'll do minor adjustments till we think it's right. Now back to the deck. over here my darling well my dear what we have here is our core it's in bloody good shape there you can see it's like quite thick here but you can see this is what we get concerned about we don't want any water ingress into here just use my swifty little allen key that I just cut down core because the amount of damage that if water starts to slowly get in and then run down your core it just creates havoc that's what we've so, been fixing for days on end. Every penetration on this boat, we've just... Some, Except that one. <laughs> some are good, some are not so good, but yeah, we're getting through them. We unscrewed all these, we removed it. There was all rotten timber that they were, I don't know, maybe like a spacer that they were sitting on. So you can see here, like these are just holes from the, the old vents. But we actually have something like that and then we drill into the centre. And that core actually goes back to say around you know there so once we put our screw in it doesn't matter if water leaks in there it just goes straight into epoxy can't go anywhere i've just put in a bit of thickened epoxy it's also got some fiberglass um, fibers all through it a little extra strength that now instead of being raw timber or raw balsa core has a thickened epoxy layer right around there all the bolts that are going on the, the vent have been oversized and bored out a little bit, so I'll put thickened epoxy in those. Here are our little mushroom vents and the boxes. It's all finished. That was the final one here. Allows the boat to breathe without having a hatch open and water doesn't get in when it rains or comes on the deck. And you can close them off below or you can have them open. All right, well, that's it. That's some boat jobs that we did while we are waiting for our buttons and we are still out of the water and we're getting, getting more and more ready to go back in the water. All right, guys, once again, thanks for tuning in to another episode. I'm gonna continue, as we know, fixing these penetrations with our thickened epoxy 
And uh, yeah, another thickened epoxy core fix up. But that was our inspection um, where we first started and we thought we'd just put a cap on there because there's lots of wires that have to be run up there for nav lights and whatever goes up into the davit area. I've got access to the hot water unit and other little bits and pieces in there. So I thought I'd just put a cap on that and call that done. It's only a plastic cap, but it's not really, it doesn't really get a lot of traffic there. It's sort of tucked away in the corner. I'm going to screw this down, wipe this off, and get on to my next task. Well, I would have used a stainless one, but they were quite expensive. And this one was purchased on our wish list, so thank you. Uh, whoever that was, I can't remember. But it is going to use right now. Oh, stretch out the back and the shoulders. That's better. All right, thanks for tuning in, guys. We love yous, and we'll see you next week. Bye.